Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together, until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. Ten years later, they were finally reunited, and together, they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This is how the goblins found themselves alone in the woods, trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. We should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> yeah. All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone, and with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. What a waste. I killed mom. I can't. 
kilter. You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead, we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. A nice tablecloth could hide the stains. A tablecloth? Ooh, fancy lady. 
Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? What's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops. I forgot. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Okay, never mind. Guess it's going to the junkyard. I really like that armchair. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? And finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... The crafty goblins are two cunning little thieves who live under the princess's house. They're always getting into mischief, but they have good hearts. The crafty goblins are two cunning little... The pious pelican is the princess's generous friend. The pious pelican is the princess's generous friend. She has a magical beak that is always full of food and never empties. The Ice King is the lord of the whole forest. He is so powerful that no one dares to challenge his commands.
Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? Uh, yeah. Is that okay? Sure. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? And finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys. Forget, I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird. I'm seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. And just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, smile. Like Alice said. Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. <gasps> my sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I, though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Earl Grey or chai? Your call. 
I'm fixing myself a good old cup of joe. Ah, a nice pot of wakey wakey juice. Papa needs his rocket fuel. <sighs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Punishment, said the Ice King. You shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. Y you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. You think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. <laughs> You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that... Maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum. And she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone. But with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So, if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on. Humor me. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. You go here. The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, 
he was kind of always there, lurking. <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. You done? This one. You stumped? I think I'm done. You sure? On second thought, let me just give it a once over. This time I've got it. We'll see. How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. Yep, totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah, she'd have been a terrible ruler. The specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought-provoking. Indubitably.
forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. Oh, uh, also got something for you, Tyler. Every man needs a good knife. There you are. Thanks, Sam. Good. Good, yeah. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. That fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20 some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Boxes in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Well, I guess old bears can learn new tricks. <laughs> yep. Come on. Let's go get our electricity back on. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. What happened to the fuse box? Oh, I forgot to put it back together after I fixed one of the fuses that kept snapping. Turns out a circuit was a little worse for the wear. I started it back on the spot. Just the way your mama would have wanted. Made her happy when things could be fixed instead of thrown out. Anyways, let me find that darn key. <sighs> Just open the door. And give us our keys. All of them. Well, I, uh, figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. <clears throat> Haven't you been taking care of this place? <sighs> you didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Mm -hmm. Here, son. Give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. No oh, shit. Well, at least the door is open now. All right, 
Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. You could refinish the whole thing, but <laughs> that's a lot of work for an old door. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, just, uh, just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? High school. Best damn fullback around. Well, until, <laughs> until I got hurt. Yeah, that's rough. Let's try this one. Hmm. Yeah, this seems to be working just fine. Problem must be the latch. No shit. It's covered in rust. Eh, nothing a little salt and lime can't fix. Salt and lime? It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. <laughs> hmm. Sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Really? Hey. Sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. Here, hold this. I want to get a look at the spindle. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh, you two got any, uh, bear insurance? What for? You and your gun are always around. Oh, oh not always. And you can't fend off a bear with smart-ass remarks, you know? We're not getting a gun, Sam. Molda everywhere. Well, don't stick your nose in there. Shh. It's a goddamn bouquet. Mildew's always a problem with new doors. They're on the north side, so no sunlight. Sounds like the builder really screwed that up, huh? Hey now, watch yourself. We just need to clean it with turpentine, right? And borax? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems good. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... Do with this wreck. Take it apart and sell the scrap. Tch, 
Be my guest. But it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Hey there, little buddy. <laughs> Are you cooing at a spider? It had better be a tiny one. Don't listen to the mean lady. You're an eight-legged beauty. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun rack. Uh, remind me to take it down later. Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but... Never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when we were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then?
Look, I had to make that call. I was following procedure, what I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? Get out. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please just get out of here. All right. Say Brown really felt bad about whatever he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. I'll just go stretch my legs then. No, just give me a sec. Okay, Tina, what's going on? Hi, Han. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Han, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. <sighs> Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? It's, it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay, well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh, well, I think I just made Tina's shit list.
Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The Bears? Dee and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice-cold beers when we reached the summit. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, right? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. But what if it's the only call we get? And I guess we just grow old and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. <sighs> so before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded like he it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in. I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Her hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. Come on, Tyler. Help me out here. Why do you shut people out like this? You're literally talking inside my head. Not sure how I could shut you out even if I tried. You know what I mean, Ty. Feeling this? Found you, North Star. Okay, now you're the star and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. could play it with us that was the beauty of it for real you never wanted any other friends no not really i mean we had each other 
That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure? I'll try my best. I can't believe the old cannery is still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. Look at that. Coastal fog's taken over the summit. Hmm. It's a perfect day for a spooky hike in the woods. Maybe it'd be a good way to chill out after we grill Eddie. Hey, look what I found. Aha, I knew it was still here. I knew we'd been here before. We claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? Uh, what I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. There, looking better already. You're right. Way better. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh. Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Hey. He speaks. How's Delos treating you so far? It's been good to see Allison. 
<laughs> she's been talking nonstop about you lately. I know she's happy to have you here. Hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. You were spot on. The state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Oh. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes, we got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof. I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Dr. Torres. Tyler Ronan. Good to see you again. Yes, You've was. gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, uh, welcome home. Henderson. Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex- Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. We're here to see Chief Brown. Oh boy, what do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. Oh, well, don't forget to read him as Miranda writes. So is there anything I can help you with? You might actually. Is there any way we could see the file for our mother's case? Ah, um, well. You're legally allowed to look at anything that concerns you, so you could always file a request for access. So we can see it? Of course. I can start the paperwork if you want. It's okay. We'll figure it out with Brown. Thanks. All right. So, apparently they keep all the case files right here. Jesus, you scared me. Sorry. Anyway, if Brown's not going to be straight up with us, we should just read it for ourselves. Yeah. Uh, All right. I had to be in surgery at nine. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here. Good morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? <sighs> What's going on, you two? We'd like to see our mother's case file. We talked to Greg's. We were hoping to file a request for access today. Excuse me. Come on. You can fill out the paperwork, but the file won't be ready for a few days. How long is it going to take, exactly? That depends. Three days? A week? A week? Aren't all the files just upstairs? Yeah, but the approval process takes time. I don't know what you're looking for in that file. I was the officer in charge of the case, and there's nothing you two don't already know. Look, guys, 
I've got a victim waiting to finish her statement. We can file the access paperwork later tonight, all right? Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? Well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized the mail office. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.09 a.m. So, Tyler, Chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? You ever think of joining the force? Greg, just got here. Was already yeah, I know, but cool. we could use more people like him. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. What's your people like me? Well, well yeah, surgical you know, people with natural authority. Are you really trying to recruit my brother? Uh, uh, and why not? We're short-handed right now. Listen, really and since you've shot down my offers, I figured <laughs> I'd try the other Ronin kid. Wouldn't hurt to lower the average age around here, I guess. I woke up at five and got ready for work. Isabella's father was coming over to pick her up at 6.30. So I woke her up at 6 and made her breakfast. And What's up? Allison told me about your dog. I'm sorry. Thanks, yeah. He was a good boy. Best. So, how do you like being a cop? Must be kind of weird. Oh yeah, but I know I do a lot of good here. And the team's great. Chief Brown, he gets it. Really? Mm-hmm. We hired this guy last year who kept asking me to get him coffee. Chief canned his ass that day. <laughs> wow, way to go, Chief Brown. What about you? Any thoughts on the future? It's been hard to make any plans. Things have been way too up in the air. Well, this is something I have told your sister before, and that I'll tell you now. It's okay to take your time to figure things out. Figure yourself out. You'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure. How did you find out about the JCE? Same way anyone finds anything. The internet. It took a few months before I actually went to a meeting, though. Every time I thought about going, I chickened out. I can totally relate. Well, trust me when I say it was the right move. It is a wonderful, supportive community. Can't recommend it enough. See you around, then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay? Could I get Mr. Henderson's information from you? I think Let's go upstairs, Tyler. Isabella. Yes, of course. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, mother nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you, first door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Should we just look around? Yeah, okay, act normal. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up.
Hey, Gregs, you said our file was around here somewhere? Yep, we keep them all upstairs. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I'd better finish this or Wilson has a conniption. slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Not really, no. Right, let's go. Probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go, improvise. Oh, oops, Tyler. side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Gotta get going. Where's Allison? Bathroom. I'm uh, gonna wait for her outside. All right. See you around. Later. should be on the other side of the building. Uh, who's kooky enough to bite to work in sub-zero weather? That would be Vincenzi. He's 
got a bike for everyone. Those garbage cans are like the opposite of fair proof. You know, it's actually completely unhealthy for animals to eat our trash. Simmer down. We don't have time for a range of shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Quick, get in. Oh god, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny. Own it. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh. Good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes, you got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof, I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Dr. Torres. Tyler Ronan. You said your Good to see you again. You've yeah, gotten tall. Was. 
that usually happens between ages 11 and 21. Ha! <laughs> yeah, huh? Well, uh, welcome home. July 16th, 2009. Henderson. Different last name? Yes, her father's. Thanks. My it's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Her? No, her father has primary... We're here to see Chief Brown. Oh, boy. <sighs> what do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. Oh, well, don't forget to read him as Miranda writes. So, is there anything I can help you with? You might, actually. Is there any way we could see the file for our mother's case? Ah, um, well, you're legally allowed to look at anything that concerns you, so you could always file a request for access. So, we can see it? Of course. I can start the paperwork if you want. It's okay. We'll figure it out with Brown. Thanks. All right. So, apparently they keep all the case files right here. Someone Jesus, you scared me. Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We'd like to see our mother's case file. We talked to Greg's. We were hoping to file a request for access. Today. Excuse me. Come on. You can fill out the paperwork, but the file won't be ready for a few days. How long is it going to take, exactly? That depends. Three days? A week? A week? Aren't all the files just upstairs? Yeah, but the approval process takes time. I don't know what you're looking for in that file. I was the officer in charge of the case, and there's nothing you two don't already know. Look, guys. I've got a victim waiting to finish your statement. We can file the access paperwork later tonight, all right? Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Mr. Torres. Where were we? I don't know. We can't just say we know he's lying because we saw it in a vision. <laughs> yeah, we need some solid proof. You mean like a case file? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? Go big or go home. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m. But you couldn't stay to give a statement? So, Tyler, Chief said you were a mentor over at Fireweed, huh? You ever think of joining the force? Gregs, he just got here. Yeah, I know, but we could use more people like him. I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals in Southeast Alaska. I'm basically always on call. Ah, yeah, of course. Well, listen, we really appreciate you coming in after a Well, yeah, you know, people with natural authority. Are you really trying to recruit my brother? Huh, and why not? We're short-handed right now. And since you've shot down my offers, I figured <laughs> I'd try the other Ronin kid. Wouldn't hurt to lower the average age around here, I guess. Hey, Gregs, you said our file was around here somewhere? Yep, we keep them all upstairs. Could you go through the full details of your morning? Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I better finish this or Wilson has a conniption. I woke up at five. coming over to pick her up at 6.30. So I woke her up at 6, I made breakfast, and as we were eating, I realized I hadn't grabbed the mail the night before. Isabella asked to come with me, so I helped her into her car. Hey, what are you two up to over there? Everything all right? Uh, yeah, everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know. Mother Nature's juice cleanse. And there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Should we just look around? Yeah. Okay. Act normal. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way up. All right, 
Let's see. Let's see. There. Fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, guess I probably can't trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Oh, whoops. Tyler. All right. Oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I'd better finish this or Wilson has a conniption. Gotta get going. Where's Allison? Bathroom. I'm uh, gonna wait for her outside. All right. See you around. Later. CPD. If Eddie catches us in here, there's no turning back now. Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. <sighs> Finally. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. You finding anything? No. Personnel files, department budgets, but zero case files. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan, perfect daughter. Can we stay focused, please? Destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Is that? Oh no. <laughs> oh yes. Burn it. Burn it with fire. Brown really wants everyone to know what a fine, upstanding citizen he is, doesn't he? He's a genuinely good person. And saying that here makes me feel even worse. Police Chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The, the community social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much 
knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, he's in charge of the secret chart. Let's put the Vecchis next to... Can you not? Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Firewave? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed Administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Bieber for company. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Sure, you checked all the emails. Whoa, Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't, I don't know, but there's a reference number, R six eight six five three. Huh? Tom invited Eddie over for dinner. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is.
please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <laughs> Seriously? Go on, try. Pressing the wrong numbers. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. I'm sorry. I don't think I got that. Dum da dee. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you never told me you had perfect pitch. Shut up. Pressing the wrong numbers. You're 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 pressing the wrong numbers. Pressing the wrong numbers. You're pressing the wrong numbers. You're pressing the wrong numbers. You're pressing the wrong numbers. Once more with feeling? Ugh, Tyler. Hit it. Dum da dee do. Ah, oh, yeah. Beats. Bats at boots, bats at. I hate you. You're pressing the wrong numbers. 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 Any idea? Look closely. Some of the keys should be more worn than others. Yes! Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Not 
this one either. Uh, no, that's not it. Nope. Well, not this one either. No, that's not it. You finding anything? one either. Right, here we go. Looks like a step-by-step -step record of the investigation.
So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March 1st, 2005. is 05R61889. There. a summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. Brown's quite the wordsman. He's not a writer, Tyler. to check out 05R62766. I have her autopsy report. Okay. She... Yeah. What is it? She drowned. Stab wound was not fatal. What? Thank <laughs> you. 
Reference is 0501COMBBR. Nope. Well, you know, it'd go a lot faster if you were here to help. Well, it'd go a lot slower if we got caught, so. Here it is. Jesus. Unbelievable. Brown reported Marianne to Child Services. What? Where are you? What's going on? Ready, Brown. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Proof from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Proof. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, uh, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh huh. K A N S. K Y. Great. Your caseworker, Sandy Black, will be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Proof, how worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Proof. You too, sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCS. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging.
Is 2014-201-496. There. Not helpful at all. Complaints, right? Look for that. Five two zero one five four six. repeat myself you're a goddamn hypocrite I said move it H hey get off me rather spend the night here come on I said don't fucking touch me go on and consider yourselves lucky your family you're right family and for Allison's sake, we should talk. About what? We saw our file. We know about social services. Why? Why did you turn your back on her? Why did Tessa?
Okay. Yeah, you're right. We need to talk. The winter before your mother's death was hard. Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. She was always just scraping by. And that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. So, she was struggling through the snowstorm of the century, and you reported her to social services? Tessa came to me and reported potential child neglect. As a sworn officer, I am required by federal law to report the allegation to OCS. So you took her word for it and called child services? Failure to provide adequate food? lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. An assessment worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. But you're adults and that was your choice to make. I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but... You have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best. And I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there. But it's gonna take some time before we're a big, happy family. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. Group hug? Uh, no. Absolutely not. kick you out now. No rest for the wicked, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I'm as wicked as it gets. I'll see you both later. What's up? Well, see you around then? You know where to find me. Got a lot of paperwork to get through. We'll catch up later, okay? Should we go? You two on your way out? Yeah, we've got stuff to do. You ready, Allison? Yep. Let's roll on. Well, don't be a stranger, Tyler. Sure. See you around. See you later. What happened up there? Long story. Hey, you know the drill. Chin up. Yeah. Chin up, stand tall. Atta girl. <sighs> I could use a beer. It's noon. Which means that by the time I drink one, it'll be afternoon. I can't be expected to enjoy my pulled pork sandwich without a cold one. Are we still on for lunch tomorrow? Yeah, sure. I'll text you. Uh, see you around. You kids be careful out there, yeah? Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa? Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Really? Chief Brown, is it true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I... Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. I stopped to take a leak just as I was finishing up. I see a big old bolt was staring me down. So what do I do? Then I grab my odd six from the truck and set Come my in. sights.
you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure out our next move. Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I, I should be on my way over soon. Hello, Tyler. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Yeah, maybe, actually. Uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Well, if we want to get past the limits of trust, we all need to face what happened, which means being completely honest about it. We all want to find peace, kids. It's just harder for some people to talk about the past. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Hey. Yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so don't be late. Uh, yep, yep. I'll be on my way in a minute. Uh, so, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Mm, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. But look, I, oh, gosh, uh, I, I'm sorry, I really have to go. Uh, Michael, uh, could you finish up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, it's sure thing, boss man. See you later. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Why not? We came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she, she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can't we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Allison, we don't have to visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Where'd that question about our father come from? I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. So should we just not go then? No, of course not. We're going to go, I just... I need to feel how I'm gonna feel about it right now. Okay. 
I'm sorry for getting frustrated. It is what it is, right? Go have fun with Michael while I close the register. Already counted there, but I just need you to double check a few things. It's not complicated. I've got this in the bag. Oh yeah? Because you're just that good, huh? I mean, it's just counting stuff on a shelf, right? Yeah, let's start with an easy one, all right? Go to the back of the room and uh, tell me how many cans of Moto Bene brand tomato sauce we have left. Aye, aye. That's not it. I wonder what's in that box. Why am I standing here looking at this? We could use some of that at the house. Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? Hold on, let me count this. There's 14 cans of Malta Bene tomato sauce. Okay, sounds about right. Man, I'm so good at this. That was easy. I need you to count the bottles of bleach for me. On it. I drank this at a party once. It did not end well. Oh, any good stories? I mean, probably, but nothing I remember really makes sense, so... Yikes, that's unsettling. Is that the mangy muskrat? Muskrat is a lazy, cowardly creature who spends most of his time lying around in the sun, cleaning his coat. The stalwart moose is a kind and loyal animal. He always criticizes the goblins for their tricks, but he actually likes them. Is that a picture of a priest with little hearts? Yeah. That's the hot priest who hosts Bible study with Tessa. And for the record, that was Allison's doing. She had a crush on him for ages, but he is very, very hot. Shit, yeah. I remember him from when we were kids. That's Father Batista. Yeah, he's got that silver fox thing going on now, see? Yeah, yep, I see it.
<laughs> Tired already? No, that's not what Michael wanted. <sighs> the only processed food Marianne ever let us eat. She said they were her guilty pleasure. Uh, no, that's not it. You know, when you think about it, glass is really just tortured sand. Huh. Have you been sniffing the spray paint, Tyler? We could use some of that at the house. I wonder what's in that box. Uh, no, that's not it. Why am I standing here looking at this? I wonder what's in that box. Six? All right. Not bad, Tyler. Not bad. Careful. They might give me your job. Oh, you can have it. Uh, what's next? Come here and help me with this. What's up? I need your opinion on this masterpiece. Is that supposed to be me? Yeah, come on, look at the hair. Nailed it, right? Uh, there might be a little room for improvement. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, I just said a little, that means it's mostly good. Man. I pour my heart out into this, and this is what I get? Cold, Tyler. Ice cold. So, this is what you're up to while I was out there doing your work? What can I say? I'm a multitasker. Hey, multitasker? I think you made a mistake here. Total amount should be 36. Oh, how dare you, sir? What? <laughs> I just don't want you to get in trouble. Yeah, you're right. You know, I'm off my game today. All right, anything else you wanted me to check? Yep, one last thing, and then we should be free from this purgatory. Hit me. Can you count how many plushies we have in that box over there? Okay. processed food Marianne ever let us eat. She said they were her guilty pleasure. Cheddar dip? Uh, yuck. <laughs> Your sister loves that shit. She eats it straight out of the jar. Oh, God. Uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. I wonder what's in that box. Uh, no, that's not it. Why am I standing here looking at this?
We could use some of that at the house. Why am I standing here looking at this? I was just remembering the time Allison and I opened up a bag of flour and threw it at each other's faces. We called it a, a summer snow fight. We made a gigantic mess. Marianne was pissed. I wonder what's in that box. Why am I standing here looking at this? You found the box of plushies? This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. Why am I standing here looking at this? Why am I standing here looking at this? Why am I standing here looking at this? Maybe I should pick up some for Allison? We could use some of that at the house. You found the box of plushies? This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. Man, Michael does not have your artistic skills. Oh dear, what did he do? <laughs> Ask him to show you his masterpiece later. You guys gonna be done soon? Uh, yeah, we're wrapping up. I wonder what's in that box.
Why am I standing here looking at this? wonder what's in that box. Uh, no, that's not it. Why am I standing here looking at this? Why am I standing here looking at this? Ah, uh, no, that's not what Michael wanted. Only processed food Marianne ever let us eat. She said they were her guilty pleasure. Uh, no, that's not it. You found the box of plushies? This entire room is full of boxes. It's gonna take me a while. It's way in the back, not too far from the restaurant door. So... Uh, you've got about 11 left in that box. Did I get it wrong? Michael? Ouch, what the fuck? Hey, sorry. It was just too tempting. <laughs> Lesson number one in the ancient art of inventory. Never let your guard down. <laughs> you have no idea what you just started. First one with three confirmed hits wins. Cool. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, come on. Is that all you got, Ronan? Just you wait. I've got a strategy. Oh yeah? We'll see. <laughs> gotcha. One more hit and you're out. Prepare to feel my wrath. <laughs> God, you're corny. So, is this a typical work day for you? Nah, I usually don't have such good looking company back here. Oh, so I'm good looking company, huh? Yeah, well, don't let it get to your head. I'm still destroying you. <laughs> gotcha.
Oh, <laughs> man, you're good. <laughs> I told you not to doubt the golden arm. <laughs> well, I'll never make that mistake again. Okay, I, I need to finish this inventory thing real quick. Your sister's probably done already. Here, let's hit the bitch's grotto. The what? Fancy name for the couch where Allison and I sit during breaks. Ah, all right, cool. Let me see what you've done with the place. Oh, hey, see that container? That's for you. Huh? It's the trout I caught yesterday at the buzzard hole. Grilled it up with my world-renowned marinade. Oh, wow. Uh, thank you. World-renowned marinade, huh? What's in it? A magician never reveals his secrets. Is this Chief Brown? Yeah. Are you guys related or? Nah, but same clan. So what's your take on him? He's a pretty all right guy, all things considered. All things considered? Like with him being a cop and all. I mean, it's good to see someone from the clan getting shit done. And he really cares about the community. We need someone like him on top. And I'm done. So, you think Tom's got the chops to be the mayor of Delos Crossing? Uh, I don't know. The guy's sweet and not entirely incompetent, but it doesn't really matter. Vote for him to vote for Tessa. She'd be the one running the show. So is he a cool boss? Uh, cool? I'm pretty sure that's not a word anyone has ever used to describe Milk Toast Tom. But he's alright, I mean, not the worst boss I've ever had. What do you think about Tom's policy ideas? He's got a few surprisingly bold stances. Yeah, like his gun regulations. I gotta admit, I'm pretty impressed he's pushing for that out here. Exactly, but... <laughs> I'm not totally sure how I feel about that, though, to be honest. Really? Really. Historically speaking, the government taking weapons away from my people has not gone well for us. Oh, yeah. I never thought about it that way. So I take it you're not Tessa's biggest fan? Yeah, you know, every time I put up flyers for queer events, she accidentally covers them. No way. Have you ever confronted her about it? Nah. I just keep my head down and count the days until Juno. Man, that has to be rough. It is. But out here, just surviving is a form of protest. Alright. I gotta tell you, it's so weird to finally meet the other Ronin. You mean the OG Ronin? I was born first, you know. Is that so? I thought Allison said she was. Well, our mother never actually told us, but it was me. So, why is it so weird to meet me? Because I just heard Allison tell your story so many times. She told me everything about you. The fireweed, your transition. I hope that's okay, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. She asked me first. <laughs> yeah, figures. That lady is thorough and she loves you like crazy. I know. So, yeah, uh, you were probably the first person to know about it other than Allison. I'm glad you trusted me. And it's great to finally get to know you in the flesh. You're pretty all right. <laughs> uh, 
Thanks. That's nice of you to say. I mean it. I'm glad Allison has you back. You're going to be a positive influence for her. I know it. We are not going to let her die a slow death in QuickBooks. So I wasn't blowing smoke when I said you should move to Juno with us. I know. I... I've got a community there. It could be yours too. Hmm. Fitting in. There's a concept. Y you have no idea how life-saving a chosen family can be. They pulled me out of the dark more times than I can count. I hear you. Hey, can I ask you a question? Of course. Shoot. Why do you care so much if I move to Juno? <laughs> Look, like I said, I, I want to get to know you. Because I'm just that fascinating, huh? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think you might be one of a kind, Tyler Ronan. Golly gee, Michael, I think you're swell too. You're the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Shut up. I've got way better compliments than that. But I can't open with my best, right? It's cool. So, I'll get more of those if I get to know you better? For sure. If that's something you'd be interested in. I might be. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, hey. I've been standing at that counter for an hour waiting for you two dum-dums to come back. Are you guys ready to go? Mm-hmm. I think we've done about as much damage as we can back here. Yeah. Let's go. Here we are. Thanks for letting me hitch a ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah, you're like stretching my legs. It isn't far. But anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? Pearl of a runlet that never ceases. With a hollow, boiling voice it speaks, and has spoken since hills were turfless peaks.
Where is everybody? Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I think I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite yet. I need to take a breather. I'm gonna do a bit of shopping. You look for Tessa, okay? On it. 